Everybody, sit <laughs> down. That's the fire alarm. I know. Now sit down. And burn to death. We should go, sir. Look, it's not a real fire. Somebody calls it. Why would they do that? I don't know. So Alfie, it must bring a lot of emotions into play when you do a piece like this. Well, I genuinely find the play quite frightening. Like that's that's the main thing that I, I feel about it is the genuine fear and like what I want the audience to come away with is thinking, oh my God, that's how a genuine terrorist attack would be like and how like traumatizing and horrific it would be. And I feel like I'm trying to go into detail on significant moments to just show that, that, that fear. Yeah. You just oh, never oh. know when to stop and close your mouth. Why don't you just leave? Nobody would care. Better you than us. Barney, here we are in the Mitre Theatre and you're directing The Customer Is Always Wrong. Yes. We've been rehearsing six times a week for nine weeks and we're in a pretty good place oh, now. Is... They're drastically different. Lockdown is a dark and provoking piece and this is an uplifting piece. Uh, and two different age groups as well. We've got first and second years here in this equally as wonderful production to lockdown which is full of lower six so um you'll it's the contrast that inevitably comes together to create a piece that provides uh all audiences wonderful enjoyment on the night i'm always of the mind that everyone is important in a show mm -hmm. even the person who seemingly is playing the smallest part as a director do you actually see that that is the case Yes, um, I remember being about six and then uh, having this big jigsaw at my granddad's house and then putting the pieces together I realised, no actually, that tiny little bit of blue sky kind of matters.